Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video in my 2003 Jeep TJs, I'm doing a 4.8 LS swap in. One of the things I'm going to add to it right now before I move on is do the EVAP delete. We don't have emissions here, so I'm not too concerned about the EVAP. However, the factory EVAP Jeep system, I'm not sure if it's still going to function with the swap. But the two hoses that would have went to the intake, I'm still going to run them to the air box. But I'm going to delete the EVAP right off of the LS intake manifold itself. And this is a kit I picked up from Novak Conversions. Pretty simple install. Remove a bolt, pull it out, put the delete kit in, bolt it down. Let's get started. So you can see the EVAP right there. Just one simple bolt, remove it, and pull it straight up. There we go, and we're out. As you can see the evap right here, nothing too exciting. As you got your hole, you want to insert this in the hole and put your cap on, so to speak. What I'm gonna do, stick a little dab of assembly grease on there. That'll make it go in easier. All right. That just snaps in place. Now this side here has the indent. And that's where it goes. Oh, that's not gonna fly either. We bought them out. Okay, round two. Now well, this is how you're gonna make it work. If you just take this piece, put it up top there, hold it level. That's not gonna fly. Plus, the screw you get in the kit is too long. So I found this washer. I'm gonna put that washer right up top there. Take your piece, put that right up top. Perfect. Now to make this work, I cut down the bolt. This is the second thing I got from Novak Conversions that didn't have the proper bolts the first one is the motor mounts that i picked up which came with regular bolts and they should have had carriage bolts for the mounts and now i got this in my opinion you're probably gonna have to buy new bolts from anything you buy from them because this is twice now done there we have it. it's all done could not be complete unless you put the washer underneath to make it sit nice and level trim the bolt shouldn't have to and now we're set up if you have any questions or comments post them below otherwise i want to thank you guys for watching this short video 